Greetings and welcome to an LGR thing, and it's a new year, and I got new glasses, and a new camera, and a new microphone, and a new soul, and an old joystick, because this is LGR, and that's what I do, I guess. Uh, specifically, though, this is a pretty special joystick to me, well, not this exact one, but it is the exact same model and release and everything that I had as a kid. In fact, it was my very first joystick that I got in... 91 or 92 or something like that. There's nothing particularly odd or unusual or special or great about it at all, except to me personally, and in that sense, it is all of the above. I don't really have a point, except that uh, I don't have a video to put up for today, and I thought, hey, you know what, I want to talk about this thing, because it makes me happy, and going into a new year and uh, expecting new things that I want to move on to for uh, my future, it's kind of nice to look at the past and, you know, where it came from and what I remember, and, you know, I'm just in one of those moods, because I am. So, let's take a look at this thing right here, the Craft Thunderstick. So, this is the Craft Thunderstick, released sometime at the end of 1989, from what I gather. I didn't get it at that point, I got it maybe 1991, 92, something like that. But it was really one of those things where, you know, I think my mom got it for my dad, kinda me too, cause he had uh, this particular game, which again, I played a crap ton of, uh, LHX Attack Chopper. Uh, we got this. Well, not this exact box, but uh, a copy of it from Kmart, I believe. And then uh, we also got this joystick from there too, which I think it was maybe 29 bucks if my research is correct. I certainly don't have any memory of it of myself. I was like five years old, but like uh, some of this paperwork that I've, whoops. It's like, oh yeah, craft. The Thunderstick with a new game adapter, all new bundle. Be ready to try out the latest game with new craft Thunderstick and game card bundle. Both newly designed and packed with features for 55 bucks. So yeah, that was the card that you would plug it into. It came with uh, two joystick ports, and then of course the Thunderstick itself, which, uh, like I said, I think the Thunderstick, um, at least this one, was like 29 bucks at that point. And we didn't need a game card because uh, ours had one built into the motherboard, or really the 15-pin game port. And uh, yeah, well, this this is the box. I actually found this particular one at a Goodwill some years ago. And I was just like, holy crap, that was my joystick. <laughs> I actually kept the joystick, uh, the original one I had as a kid for a very long time, but sometime, I don't know, in the early 2000s, it just, it had really deteriorated. And the inside is, uh, well, I mean, this thing is ridiculously cheap. So it's really no surprise that it fell apart and stopped working. And then we got rid of it. And uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I knew it was cheap, uh, but it was my joystick, so. I didn't really care, but I ended up actually uh, jokingly calling it the macaroni and cheese joystick. <laughs> Kraft, you know, like Kraft mac and cheese meal. Anyway, it was just like, oh yeah, it's so cheap, it's made of macaroni and cheese. It actually kind of felt like it too. Let's just go ahead and open it. Yeah, here it is. Beautiful, sort of. I mean, it is a, it's a cheap joystick. Kraft made all sorts of cheap joysticks. And this was Kraft Systems, not the Kraft Food Company. <laughs> I just, but you know, I still made that joke because like some of these uh, plastic pieces, like right that one right there, they felt like you were pressing or, you know, touching actual like uncooked macaroni and cheese. Plus, you know, just the name, Kraft. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a joystick. That's, that's all it is. Really phallic, really simple. Uh, it has an on off switch for some reason. I don't know if I've ever had another joystick like of this era that has a specific on and off switch, but you know, it came in handy because sometimes it would just freak out. Uh, we have like the uh, the trim controls right here, which again are really cheap and barely work, but they are there. Uh, the throttle, this particular throttle is terrible. <laughs> the thing is, it was so cheap, like the one that I had as a kid, it snapped off. And then I found another one of these some years ago at a Goodwill and that one snapped off too. So I'm being very careful with this one nowadays because I don't want that to snap off again. A piece of plastic is just garbage. But yeah, you got the, uh, the two smushy buttons up here and then a smushy trigger right there, which it's got a decent click. But there's no micro switches or anything. And of course you got your uh, 15 pin joystick port right there, the game port, which just plugs into your computer. It's the Kraft Thunderstick. It's not good, <laughs> but you know, 
it's my first joystick. What are you gonna do? So, uh, oh yeah, another thing that I wanted to mention though is they didn't actually just stop with the Thunder Stick. They also released the Thunder Hawk sometime a little bit later, which is practically the exact same stick. Like the base and everything is exactly the same, but the uh, like the joystick itself is a little bit different. They call it an advanced pistol grip design. <laughs> Ultra fast response, a precise spring centering, new ergonomic design, quality made by Kraft, super deluxe. I mean, they were trying to go all out, but in reality, it's just the same cheap joystick, just with a slightly more ergonomic uh, grip on top, which, you know, fine. So yeah, I'm just gonna be sticking to uh, my original Kraft Thunder Stick right here because, you know, it's, it's what I remember. And uh, it's what I want to experience again and share with you because why not? Let's get it plugged in. All right, so I've got an HP Vectra 500 series that I'm gonna be plugging it into back here. And being a 15 pin joystick, it goes into the 15 pin game port on the sound card in this case. Well, that's pretty much it other than some calibration and software. All right. So I've got that there, make sure it is turned on. And here we go. Mm, Windows 95. I love that sound. Thank you, Brian Eno. So first order of business is to check out the game controller settings in the control panel. That is the printer. Let's not do that. And so it doesn't actually come with any discs or specific setups for this. So you can actually just choose a pretty basic like a, well, you can either set a custom one or you can go with like two button flight yoke with throttle, which is normally what I did because from what I remember, these two buttons on top are actually exactly the same. So the first game that I really want to play here is the aforementioned LHX Attack Chopper, the game that we really bought this joystick for in the first place back in the day. And it came with this very handy little program here for joysticks, the Electronic Arts Joystick Tuner. And up here and down there. It also tells you to move the trim, which are those, those two little dials there. Eh, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> It's as good as this joystick is gonna get. Uh, the potentiometers in there are not great, like everything else. Gotta love that PC speaker intro. Um, this is LHX, wonderful little game. It's got some um, different conflicts around the world and I always am a fan of any kind of difficulty selection that has you uh, giving different faces here. These. Faces are great. Let's do Chopper Escort. <laughs> and yeah, we gotta do the Apache Helicopter and gotta be doing Libya here because Libya has camels. And the Chopper Escort has choppers that we can select with uh, these buttons here. So yeah, throttle does absolutely nothing. Uh, these select your different uh, targets. I guess just the next target. And then uh, this shoots, which um, changed the Hellfire there and bye bye. Blackhawk helicopters that I was supposed to be protecting. <laughs> oh man. And wow, I did not even think about it, but I am already uh, doing my old like pose here. You kind of have to hold this joystick down because it just, it flops around all over the place. It's, it's so lightweight and crappy and these rubber feet don't do anything. It's just, they're just hard rubber. It might seem like I hate this joystick, but like I'm very much aware of its flaws. I just have a lot of fondness for it. Let's find some friggin' camels. Aha, found one. Bye bye, camel. Hehehehe. <laughs> that never gets old. And let's see here, let's just go really, really high. And we're gonna totally ruin everything and just kill the engine. See if we can kamikaze one of these buildings while we're going down. Arr, protest! Yeah, took out the building. Take that, unnamed building. Anyway, that's LHX. It's a lovely little game and I need to review it eventually and uh, you can bet that I'm gonna be whipping out this joystick to do so. But let's move on. Now the other thing that I wanted to try though that we ended up uh, playing a lot with this particular joystick is the Need for Speed Special Edition. 
And yeah, it's a racing game, but you know, I just we had a joystick and <laughs> seemed weird to play a racing game with a keyboard. So we played all the racing games with a joystick. I mean, I seriously did until like, uh, I guess 19, what the heck, where did it go? All right, well, I didn't find the actual disc I was looking for, but I do have my original childhood uh, CD for the Need for Speed Special Edition right there with my name on it and everything. <laughs> so, let's do that. Okay, so this is a familiar sight. <laughs> yeah, you get the uh, joystick calibration on startup for this game whenever you insert a new joystick. So yeah, you have uh, this what looks like an H shifter here for gear shift, but this is not for shifting gears, this will be for steering. It is now calibrated, hopefully. Although sometimes this does tend to not work and it'll screw up the main menu. And, uh, well, all the menus, <laughs> it just freaks out. Yeah, these games take me back to being 10 years old. This one in particular, yeah, is my, <laughs> my old username. I always have to put that in, which I stole directly from this game. There is an AI player named Freak, but I took it for myself because I thought it looked cool. Thankfully, this menu isn't freaking out, so I guess the joystick is a little better than the one I had as a kid <laughs> at one point. Uh, it just freaked out and like it, these menus were going crazy because as you can see like the joystick does control the menus So like in the menus what I'd have to do is like turn off the joystick It's doing it a little bit there starting to control the menus without me doing anything. There we go. Okay. Let's see if this works <laughs> Yep Yeah, this brings back some memories. So, uh, this is literally how I played Need for Speed back in the day. Yeah, it's the trigger to honk. Uh, that to turn off the map for some reason. Forward to accelerate, back to break. And you know, it's actually not the worst way to control this game because it does have some good analog steering. I seem to remember maybe configuring this to like, uh, ex you know, change gears instead of changing the map that would make sense anyway because yeah I don't need a button to turn a map on and off oh man though this seriously takes me back to 1996 when I first got this went over to my uncle's house played it this way he had a I believe a Microsoft Sidewinder joystick that thing was ridiculously cool I still love the Sidewinders because of that <laughs> Can't catch me. I got a joystick, see? Too sensitive. It's not too sensitive, that's just me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I always like doing that whenever I want. It's like, yeah! He's like, treat it like a punching bag. That's the joystick. My craft. Craft macaroni and cheese joystick. It's good stuff, man. At least I think so. It's cheap junk, really, but it's my cheap junk, so I like it for that. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will have uh, some more substantial stuff coming soon. But still, in the meantime, I hope that you enjoyed this look back at some of my own memories. And yeah, let me know what your first joystick was or first game controller for your computer, because it was kind of an event at one point. At least it was for me to have something that reminded you more of like game consoles or arcades, you know, not just a keyboard and mouse. So yeah, let me know your memories in the comments. And as always, thank you very much for watching.